Hello Power Users, in today's tutorial, we're taking a look at the new visual checkbox and visual radio outputs for Glue's Terms field. The Terms field lets users select taxonomy terms inside Elementor forms. And now, thanks to these two new visual outputs, that selection can be paired to related images. Let's see it in action. This is our form, and these are our terms. We'll see in a moment how this is set up, but as we can see, the front-end user will be able to choose one or more terms before form submission. In the back end, we have our post categories. Inside, we've added an image using this image dash meta field. We used Jet Engine for this, but we could have also used ACF to the same effect. After we did this, we updated each category with a related image. With that set up, back in the Elementor editor we created a simple form and added a new field called Terms field. Let's give it a label in the Label field, and in the Output menu we will find what we're looking for. We have Visual Radio and Visual Checkbox. The difference is that Checkbox allows for multiple selection, while Radio does not. Let's set the image source to be Jet Engine, since that's what we used for the Meta field. Here we will need to paste the Image Meta key in this case, image dash. The input label is essentially what's returned under the images, with title being the name of the category. The return value is the value that is actually submitted by the form field on form submission. We can return IDs, titles once again, slug, and even custom meta fields. After that setup too, we need to choose the terms that will be displayed in the field. We can use manual selection or return them by taxonomy according to our choice in the query option of the field. Let's pick by taxonomy, and let's choose categories in the taxonomy settings field, and we can further refine by excluding terms. We can choose to set a higher depth and define the hierarchy if our terms have subcategories. In the styling tab, we'll see that we now have more styling option for the terms field. We can change the color, typography, change the same for child terms, or we can choose to inherit the styling with this toggle. The visual checkbox and radio submenu will let us set the container direction, picking between column and row. We can set the container gap and change the box padding. We can see that higher values may eat into our images, but we can fix that by working with the image width and height down here. Or we can simply set the image object option to contain to avoid the issue altogether. Furthermore, we can change the label position to something that will look better with the column container direction and we can change the vertical and horizontal alignments and their distance from the image. We then have styling options for the selected state of our checkboxes or radio. We can choose to display a border on selection, a box shadow, or both. Regardless of styling options, we can even show the original input like the radio or the checkboxes themselves. That's pretty much it. The visual checkbox and radio output options for the terms field are sure to improve the interface and experience for your users when using your Elementor forms. And of course, they will go hand in hand with Glue's front-end submission in letting you have full freedom over what your users submit to your site. Thank you for watching and see you next time.